Federal officials last week gave $33 million to help finance clinical trials of a drug intended to prevent Alzheimer's disease. There are more than 5 million Americans with this dementia, and at present there is no way to prevent it. Here to tell us more about the trial is Pam Bellick, a science reporter at The Times. Hi, Pam. Hi, Mike. So there are drugs out there to treat Alzheimer's right now, but my sense is that they don't work all that well. Why do researchers think that is? Right, there are a few drugs that are typically given to people in early stages of the disease. They really don't do very much. They may stave off symptoms for a few months. And I think after 20 years of trying these drugs in different trials on people who already have the symptoms of dementia, the scientists have pretty much concluded that it's just way too late to try these drugs at that time, that the brain is already so damaged by the time one starts sh showing symptoms of memory loss and cognitive decline, that unfortunately the drugs are not going to work. So uh, the idea I, is, is to, that Alzheimer's is, can be prevented, I think, sort of depends on the idea that you could find uh, people who are likely to get Alzheimer's. Right, exactly. Um, do we know? Well, the sort of hopeful idea here is that even though we've had years of failure of trying these drugs on people with the symptoms of the disease, science has also gotten a lot better at identifying people who are more likely to develop it. We don't know exactly what causes it in most cases, but we have better tools, um, better science to be able to detect some of the things that increase your risk. And one of the main things that they've been able to find is that there are certain genes that increase the likelihood um, that you'll develop the disease. So if you can identify people who have, in particular, um, one gene that seems to really increase your risk, then you can start testing on those people much earlier than they would develop the disease, and you can